Hey, beautiful people, we're going to jump right into this tutorial. So, I'm trying a new method in this tutorial, and it's kind of like a hack, I guess. I guess they call it soap brows. It's something I, I saw um, like a couple months ago on Instagram um, and YouTube. A lot of people were talking about using soap, kind of like a base or like a wax for the eyebrows and how it kept the eyebrows all day long. And I was like, well, might as well give it a try. Another big thing people kept saying was that it kind of makes your eyebrows look a bit more natural um, because the soap allows you to get all of your eyebrow hairs like exactly where you want them and they stay and they last all day. So I have the pear soap. Um, it's clear. I know it looks blue, but it is clear. A lot of people I saw who did it, they suggested using a clear soap that way when it dries. Um, you don't see it, whereas colored soaps tend to leave like a white film. So that's the pear soap. It ha it's. I know you guys might normally see like the orangey looking one. This one is blue. It's like menthol and mint or something. It actually smells minty. So <laughs> if that bothers you, then don't get that one. Get the the regular one. But it was it was a dollar at um Ocean State, so I grabbed it. So what I did was I have um a two in one brush. It was a spoolie on one end, and it's um a small angled brush on the other, and it's by Elf. Um, and I actually just got this brush, but I really like it, so I'll probably grab a couple more. The spoolie's nice and firm, and it's just easier just to switch it around rather than using two separate brushes. But anywho, I wet the spoolie with some water. I know it looks like my elf mist and spray, but I have a whole bunch of those, and that particular bottle has water. So I just wet the brush, roll it around in the soap a bit till it kind of makes like a sudsy type consistency. Um... This is actually my second time doing it. The first time I did it, I was OD heavy handed and used way too much. So I had to take some out. So I would just say, start off with a little bit and then build it up to, to where you like it. But yeah, I run this fully through my brows, um, define it. I really wanted to see if this was going to like make the front of my brows stand up more. The, um, what am I trying to say? So the beginning of my brows is fuller than the ends. Um, but my hair is in the very beginning. I feel like I want them to stay straight up more and they always go to the side. So that's what I was really curious to see if this method would help me with. But yeah, so um, run the, the gel, the gel, the soap through the brows. And then I'm using a pencil. So the first time I tried this, I didn't film it, but the first time I tried it, I used um, my NYX eyebrow gel. So I was just like, and it worked perfect. It lasted all day. So I was like, I wonder if it'll work with my pencil, my little cheap pencil. So I'm filming it with the pencil. So I will say that I've tried this method a couple more times. Um, the pencil is cool. Like my pencil is my everyday quick, um, but it's not smudge proof. So definitely um, using this soap method with my NYX waterproof smudge proof eyebrow gel. I love, love, love it. My eyebrows do not budge. They don't go anywhere. Um, and I did notice that I use way less product. I don't know what it is about the soap, getting everything like in position, but it's almost like it, it like makes your brows look fuller before you even put the product in it. So I love that I'm using way less of the brow gel and I do feel, I don't know. I feel like my eyebrows don't look quite as drawn on. I mean, clearly I'm feeling in my brows. I'm blessed, but I ain't that blessed <laughs> when it comes to the eyebrow department. So I feel like I'm using less product. So, hey, the soap is cheap. You can definitely try it out and see if it's something that you like. I'm just sealing it um, with a clear eyebrow gel. This one is from Black Radiance. And I feel like this just helps, again, my natural hairs to be more defined. So it looks like I actually do have an eyebrow not just paint. So yeah, that's my little soap hack brow method. So far, so good. I like it. So I'm just going to really quick clean up my eyebrows with my LA um, Pro Concealer. This is either the shade Chestnut or Toast. I feel like it's Chestnut because I'm running really low on Toast and I keep forgetting to buy another one. But I'm cleaning up my brows. I'm also using this shade to kind of prime my lids. Then I'm going to blend that all out. I'm going to set it with my Sasha Better Cup um, loose powder. And then we're going to move on into the eyeshadow look.
So I am using my brand new Saharan palette by Juvia's Place. Y'all already know I love all of Juvia's eyeshadow palettes. They're the bomb. So I had to get this one. So the first shade I went in with, the first shade I went in with <laughs> was Katsina. Um, but it was super, super light. It wasn't really showing up. So then I went and jumped to Jamila, which is like a deeper orange. Um, just because I wanted to add some more warmth. Cassina is probably going to be a beautiful transition shade on um, y'all who are a little bit lighter than me. But it wasn't really showing up at all. I needed something darker. So I'm working Jamila into my crease. And I was just winging it with this look. I know I knew that I wanted to use that red shade, Sokoto. Like when I first saw the the swatches and the eyeshadows that were going to be used, literally that that and Chad, the two colors I'm using mainly in this look were the reason why I was like, I gotta get this palette because it has a jet black that's matte, and that Sokoto shade just looks so bomb. So I started going in with my Elf C eyeshadow brush, and it was it was okay, but I felt like it wasn't really applying the um eyeshadow like I wanted to so I went in with my handy dandy finger so I'm using my finger majorly to pack that color onto my lid again the only thing I have on my eyelids is just my um concealer if I had used like NYX um jumbo pencil and milk as a base this color would be even more vibrant but do y'all see how bright this is like with nothing it's amazing so Next, I'm about to go in with Chad. I kind of overestimated the power, and I don't know why, because I know that all of their eyeshadows are super pigmented. But I went in pretty heavy-handed in the beginning. Yeah, so just forewarning. Take it easy with these shades, especially that, that black shade. <laughs> so y'all are about to see me blend my life away. Just keep going back and forth, back and forth, until I get this look to kind of where I was satisfied. <laughs> So yeah, don't forget, creating eyeshadow looks is a process. It's a lot of back and forth. It's a lot of building. Um, so don't get discouraged, guys, especially like if you're new or you're a beginner. It may not turn out to be exactly what you wanted, or you might have to just keep blending. Like when I first started looking, I was looking like, I don't know if this is going to work. Like I literally thought I was going to have to start all over. But I was like, nope, I'm going to make it work. We're just going to blend. So here I am grabbing my Masquerade palette and grabbing my favorite transition shades. I'll have them listed um, below. But just to kind of make everything blend a little bit more, that harsh black couldn't just stay there. I had to add some more transition shades so that there'd be just a softer transition. But yeah, I'm blending my life away. Blend, blend, blend. That's, that's what this is all about. Blending. Blending is my cardio. <laughs> okay? That's a fact for me. So now that I'm pretty much satisfied with my eyes, I still wasn't completely happy, but I was like, you know what? I'm going to rock with it because sometimes I don't really love my eyeshadow look until I do my eyeliner <laughs> and y'all know how serious I am about my wing liner. So I am trying out the um, black eyeliner that came, well, didn't come with it, but I got the eyeliner kit from Juvia's as well that was released with the Saharan palette. I haven't touched the brown one yet, but... Um, I'm using the black one. The black one is supposed to be waterproof and smudge proof. The brown is not. And this is the um, eyeliner brush that came with it. It's double sided. I'm using the small flat angle side. It was very creamy. It, it was very creamy. It just slid onto my eyelids. The brush was very nice. Um, I used to I used to wear gel liner more so way back in the day, like years ago. I was obsessed with gel liners, um, but then as I became more and more serious about my wing liner game, 
I switched to a pen because I found I just was, for me, I was just able to get that wing more crisp with the pen. But I did try it with the um, the eyeliner and the brush. I didn't do too shabby. It wasn't horrible. One of them came out perfect. The other one was like, yeah, not so much. <laughs> so you are going to see me go in. I couldn't even, my, my eyeliner pens was just like aggravating me. So you're about to see me switch with a whole bunch of different eyeliner pens. But I just had to get that wing perfect. But I will say that the eyeliner was bomb. I loved it. It was creamy. The brush was dope. I'll definitely be using it some more. Even if even if not for the wing, I'll be using it at least, you know, just to put on my eyelid because it was jet black. It was jet black. So yeah. I am I'm impressed. I'm impressed. So I'm gonna clean up that wing, make them sharp, make them clean, make them perfect. And the eyes are done. We're gonna go ahead and move on to the rest of the face. So I'm using an e.l.f. makeup wipe just to clean up any fallout from the eyeshadow. And we're going to go ahead and move on to the face. Using my NYX Tea Tree Skin Elixir Primer to get my skin nice and hydrated. I'm going to go in with my Maybelline Baby Skin Pore Filler to fill the pores that I have right on the side of my nose primarily. They're extremely large right there. So that helps to fill them out so that my skin looks nice and smooth. And I am going to try a new um, foundation. It's from e.l.f. I will have the official title listed below. But it's the liquid foundation. It's in the shade Coco. Shout out to my best friend and my sister for hooking me up with this foundation. She's been using it. She loved it. I also saw Jackie Ina use it um, in one of her recent tutorials. I mean, she's in the same shade. I can pretty much... If I'm looking for a foundation, if Jackie Aina fits it, I can pretty much fit it and trust it. So I was like, all right, this shade should work. So when I put it on the lower half of my face, as you can see, it's lighter. But right underneath my eyes, it's like perfect. So I wasn't really too sure, but that's not uncommon with me. Um, You guys know sometimes I have to mix my foundations. So I was like, let me blend it out and see how it works. So I'm using my e.l.f. powder brush. What it was some elf mist and set to blend that out. And I also put it over my entire face. If you guys are familiar with my channel, you know I typically do my highlight first. But because this was a brand new foundation, I wasn't sure what part of my skin it was going to match. And, you know, so I decided to just put it over my whole entire face, see what it looks like, and then go from there. So I will say this is my, like I said, my first time using it. I was pretty impressed. Um, It, it has a nice texture to it. It blended out very nicely. Um, because I, I when I first got it, like I was talking to my best friend, and I, I put it I normally I know you're not supposed to swatch it on your hand, but I can use my hand to see if it matches. So it was looking a little a little too light, and I was like, I don't know if it's gonna work. But I was able to work it out. Um, I am gonna set the lower half of my face later on in the video with a darker powder, my BH powder, just because um I felt like the lower half was a Tad bit too light but overall it worked out pretty well so I am highlighting with my LA Pro Concealer and Fawn blend that out with my Real Techniques <laughs> my Real Techniques Miracles Complexion Sponge I believe that's the official name yeah blend that out I'm gonna go in oh yeah so the whole point of this video was I was trying to use a whole bunch of different Products, techniques. So for the brows, I did the Soul Pack um, brand new eyeshadow palette on the eyes. This is a new foundation, L foundation. So since I was using new stuff, I didn't have time to try to highlight with this palette, but I figured I could contour no problem. So I'm using the Anastasia Beverly Hills Contour Kit um, Cream Concealer Palette <laughs> in the shade Deep. So, I was trying to figure out which shade I should go in with to contour. So, I went in with that middle shade on the bottom. 
um, first, and then it was a little too light, so then I'm going to go in with the darkest one also. But I figured, you know, I've had this bad boy for a couple of weeks. I haven't touched it. I've been crazy busy, you guys. So I was literally trying to jam pack a whole bunch of new stuff into this one tutorial. <laughs> so I'll be able to go more in depth with how I feel about it once I get to use it some more. But this is just a quick first impressions. And as I figured, it, I mean, it blended all fine. It's Anastasia. So I, I didn't expect anything less. Um, what I'm really going to be interested to do when I get some time is to play with the lighter shades and see how this palette will work for highlighting on my skin tone. Because there's a lot of nice deep shades. But those highlighter shades look a tad bit light. So next time I play with it, I'll definitely um, be trying to highlight and contour with it and see how that turns out. But yeah, I'm using my e.l.f. Um, it's like a C-shaped contour brush to blend out that contour. Using my fingers again. Um, clean up my nose contour. I find it's very easy for me to blend out my products when I wet the brush, especially if it's like a liquid or a cream. So um, that's why you're seeing me wet the brush just to help the shade blend into one another. You don't want to have harsh lines. You want everything to flow and look seamless. So now that I have highlighted and contoured, I'm going to go ahead and set my highlighted areas with my Sasha Buttercup Powder. Then I'm going to set my contour with my um, BH Cosmetics, my Black Radiance. And the rest of the face is pretty much going to be what you guys are used to seeing. So with that being said, I'm going to stop talking. I'm going to let the rest of the video play. Hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. If you have any questions, comments, definitely feel free to leave them below. If you have any ideas and suggestions of future videos that you guys want to see me do, leave them below. If you have not already subscribed to my channel, you definitely should. Also, don't forget to click on the bell so you can set up how you want to get notifications. That way you don't miss any future uploads. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram and Twitter. Same as my YouTube name, Shimon Monet. And until next time, guys, be blessed.